give me more crits. Just to speed this along, please. Like, this is obviously a fight I'm going to win. It's just a matter of how long it will take me to win. Agility is done, but my uh, attack buff is not done yet. I don't know why I specifically chose to use Glorious first there. Curse you, no crits. Alright. You gotta get fast again. Does Rosemond need the speed buff again? I keep losing track of if Rosemond is super speeded or not. I know it ran out a second ago, but did I already reboost it or not? I don't remember. Also, if I can help it, I really want Shine Greymon to get the last kill here. Because he... Yeah, you have already got the agility up. That's fine. Whatever. It's not like Mirage Galgamon is doing much damage anyway. I do really want Shine Greymon to get the kill shot. To get both a Mega and a Virus Buster. But also, Rosemon must have a higher luck stat or something. Because Rosemon is getting crits more often. So I really also want to... Uh, I really want to give Rosemon the attack boost from Shine Greymon. Oh, hey, he got a crit. How nice. Just over 2k. Did, did I not agility boost Shine Greymon again? Why isn't he getting a turn? What's taking him so long? Yeah, I, I need to attack boost Rosemon. Alright, your attack up is done. So use this turn to attack buff Rosemon, and then your next turn will attack buff yourself. No, stop it! Oh, of course you crit! I'm actually gonna use Shine Greymon's next turn to get him back up then, actually. I can't really be mad that he crit me, I've crit him so much. Forbidden temptation! How dare you not get a crit there? Although now your normal attack is doing about as much as the crit attack was earlier, so that's, that's always a good sign. It's like the crit now is gonna, I don't know how much, I don't know what the like crit, I don't know what the math is for it. If a crit does like, I think it's more than just double damage. I think it's like triple damage if you crit. I like to imagine that Marcus had to reach into Thomas's backpack to pull out the recover key and use it. Math with Digimon World Data Squad, 1.7k times 2 equals 5.5k. Yep. Do you need this agility buff? No, you didn't, but I felt like you did. So it makes me feel better that I did it. That's what really matters. I guess that I just get infinite turns now. May as well do another 1,000 HP recover on everyone. There you go, everyone. Use this. Get tempted forbiddenly, you fool. We've got him just under half, so I mean, like I said, we've got this. It shouldn't take too much longer. It is gonna end up being like a 15 to maybe even 20 minute fight, unless we get more cricks like that. But it's not gonna be crazy long. All right, you need to attack double again because I want you to get the KO more than anything. We might actually end up drawing the fight out a little bit by trying to make sure Shine Greymon gets the KO. Dude, they gave Omnimon so much help. I mean, like, I, wait, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, but he actually hit with it this time. Nice. I meant to use Double Crescent Mirage, Mirage words, but I misclicked. It's fun. Forbidden temptation! Yo, nailing those crits. Let's go. We just gotta be careful when we get them low to make sure that uh, Shine Greymon gets the kill. Warriors first. If I could get some crits with Shine Greymon, that would really help out. 
please keep hitting Shine Greymon because he is chewing your attacks. Makes my life a lot easier if you aim for him specifically. And as long as no one needs healing, you may as well keep hitting. Ah, uh, you see, Quick Move is very different from Sonic Move because it uses a different word. Makes all the difference. Forbidden Temptation! Dude, the amount of Forbidden Temptation crits is astronomical. Did someone, someone just lost one of their buffs, right? Did Rosemon lose her uh, agility buff or was that Shine Greymon? Someone needs an agility buff right now, I'm pretty certain. Omnimon needs a health buff, but I hope he doesn't get it. Ow. Now, now Shine Greymon needs a health buff. I'm more worried about getting agility back up first. Because I think Mirage Galgamon will get another turn before Omnimon. No, my attack buff. You know what? If your attack is down, go ahead and take this turn to heal. Get your attack back up in just a second. Actually, you're still a double damage right now, so I kind of want you to hit, and then your attack buff should run out next turn, and you'll boost Rosemont again. I'm actually kind of wondering if I don't even bother boosting Rosemont because you're so low on health, and I don't want Rosemont to get the kill. Now I'm kind of thinking that I just uh, worry about buffing Shine Greymon and then doing chip damage with Rosemont. In fact, I think that is what I'm going to do. It'll probably make the fight last a little bit longer, but... That's fine. It's worth it to get this, like, a Virus Buster and a Mega Kill, specifically on Agumon, would be fantastic. Oh, I didn't mean to do the 2,000 HP to everyone, but whatever. That's fine. I need to buy more of them. Forbidden temptation! Yeah, I mean, when you crit, you're still doing over 7k. So, like, you know. That's enough. Wait, no, no, no. You don't need it. I thought it would run out this turn, but it evidently hasn't. Also, very specifically, use Glorious Burst for Glorious some reason. Burst. Where are my crits, Shine Greymon? If you could just get me a crit or two here, brother, it'd help out so much. Why did I do 2,000 damage? Do you get more damage when you're low on health or something? What was that about? That's only been doing like 900 so far. Heal yourself, fool. Use this. Shine Greymon doesn't need the speed boost, does he? I don't think he does right now. Keep getting these Forbidden Temptation chip hits. Forbidden Temptation! Slowly but surely whittling them down. Crit after crit. Oh, there goes agility and attack up at the same time. All right. 2k damage for Chaos Mon's 50k needed is pretty good. Yeah, but it was also just, you know, I don't want him to suddenly start doing, like, if he gets another, like, small attack boost to where he's doing, like, over, well, that time he crit. But if he suddenly starts doing, like, 3k damage a hit, I'm actually going to be in a bit of trouble. But also, he's super low on health. I don't see myself losing this fight at this point, unless he does, like, an AoE move that insta-kills everyone, it, at which point I would stop playing the video game for probably the rest of my life. Use this. I think we can hit him with one more Forbidden Temptation. And then after that, we kind of just can only attack with Shine Greymon if we want to guarantee him the kill. Yeah, he's just doing a lot more damage now, specifically to Mirage Galgamon. Actually, wait a minute. I'll use, uh, I'm going to Giga Agility you because you need it. And then Rosemon can take a turn to to heal Mirage Galgamon here. That'll be fun. Yeah, Omnimon's not playing around anymore. I definitely, I wouldn't mind if he wants to hit specifically Mirage Galgamon or Shine Greymon a couple of more times before we get out of here. That'd actually be pretty nice. Uh. 
if you could get a little more damage on them on the way out. I'm I'm super down for that. Pretty sure I already have my attack up back. Oh, finally a crit. Thank you. Are you low enough now to where I can't hit you with Rosemon? Oh, yeah, definitely. You're actually one hit from dead. All I have to do is get to Shine Greymon's turn and it's over. I'm actually a little upset that you didn't die. Honestly, thank you for the crit on the way out. I appreciate the near 3k damage. What was I about to do? Wait, whose turn is this? Your turn? Like, Giga Agility up you if you need it. I'm just having all of the Digimon use support moves until Shine Greymon gets one more hit. Uh, you can't do the thing I want you to for some reason. Get complimented. You agree that Akira and Ryuji should have gotten a showtime together? I mean, ideally every character would have had a showtime with every character, although that's asking way too much. I think Akira getting a showtime with uh, Kasumi and Akechi was honestly the best choice if Akira could only have two. The only thing that I think, there, there's really only, there are three things that I think they could have done a little different with showtimes in the Royal. One, there should have been a showtime where it was the entire group. That would have been awesome. Two, um, actually there are only two things, not three. I don't know why I said three, but one is that there should have been a showtime for every single Phantom Thief as an entire group for the Final Palace. Two is that uh, Kasumi and Akechi should have had a showtime together because they were the only characters that only had one showtime. So if they both had a showtime together, every single character would have had two showtimes. And then obviously the dream scenario would have been that every single Phantom Thief has a showtime with every single Phantom Thief. But that's, that's asking too much, to be honest. Those items seem worthless to me. But hey, we beat Omnimon. That's done. I don't think I ever need to go back into that red room again, so I should probably just take the gym on my way out. Give me back Renamon. I want to keep Galgamon because he can stop Megas from running away. All right, I think we're done in the dark area now. Unless there's another secret boss somewhere that I don't know about, but if there is, we'll always we can always come back for it. Chat, where do I have to go to start doing the Kamamon battles? Because you have to do, like, you have to fight Kamamon, then Goapamon, then Shajinmon, and then Jumbo Gamamon, right? Where do I do, where do I go to do, like, the first one? Because I actually have no idea. Also, please spawn some Angelomon. I need some Virus Buster kills. Those are not virus busters, those are the opposites. You have to talk to Yoshima in every map. Have I not done this? I feel like I've talked to that old man every time I've seen him and I feel like I've seen him in every single area. Wow, you lit that. Oh, dude, Shine Greymon got poisoned again. The game really wants me to get Creepymon. This is the perfect time to have Renamon do a healing move. To get closer to 15 guards. Alright, listen. You're, you're doing it again where you have too many turns. Stop it. I need to go to Sneato. Did I not talk to him in Sneato? I feel like I did. Although I don't mind going to Sneato because I want to know like how many Virus Buster kills I have on the characters and uh, I'd also like to know um, I'd like to know how many Mega kills I have, etc, etc. I also kind of want to know how many guards I have on Talmon. Like, how many more do I have to use? I'm going to use another one right here. I just really want to... I only need to get to, what, 15? Maybe 20 for some other one? So I'd... Uh, honestly, can I do it again? Yeah, just get, get this done. I just... I want to get 
Sakuyamon already. I'm tired of not having Sakuyamon. But also, I still need more Virus Buster kills for Sakuyamon, so that's like a big problem, because friggin' no Virus Busters will spawn. We've run into like three Angelomon since we come here, which is annoying as heck. Alright, you know what? Now you can just have the kill. What's your ranking for each of the main characters in Tales of Zillia? By the main characters, you mean the six, uh, the six party members, right? Mila and Jude are tied. Like, I love both of those characters pretty equally. So they're they're first and second place together. And then after that, it'd be... Probably... Probably Alvin, then Rowan, then... Then Elise, then Leia? That sounds right. Yeah, I'll go with that. back up to the third floor. The third floor that wasn't the Omnimon side of the floor. I feel like I didn't want to go up there at first because I was like, oh, dude, they spawned too many Weregarurumon up there. But now I'm kind of like, is that where all of the Angelwomon spawn? Maybe I need to be up there because I just keep running into Karamon here. And I'm not even running into any Platinum Numamon. I really wish I could run into that. I remember that one time we had two Platinum Numamon in one fight. Oh, dude, I wish I could have that happen again. That would be fantastic if I could get that to occur. For now, let's go to Snay Auto Forest, because in Snay Auto Forest, we might actually run into, uh, into Patamon, which would be great. And also, we'll run into a lot of Beast Digimon, a bunch of Nature Spirits, and I need Nature Spirit kills on Talmon anyway. So let's go to Snayato Forest, talk to Salomon, and then try and figure out what we need to do with what's his name. I hate this fight. Like, I, I just hate it. I hate any time I see Bulbmon. I kinda wish he just didn't exist. It's gonna take so long to sit through all these deaths and then also Boltmon reviving. Like, my goodness. I'm gonna do another guard because I really want Sakuyamon. I should be hitting. I've been hitting the G heal button, haven't I? I need to hit the guard button instead so that it, like, raises the friendship or whatever. I probably have an item that boosts friendship. So if I get all of the other Sukuyamon requirements, but then the game is like, oh, but you're not good enough friends, then I could probably just use an item to get that requirement done. Thank goodness I did over 10k damage to kill the 1 HP enemy. Was really worried about that one. I'll put the red gym back later. We're gonna go back up the red gym path at some point anyways to try and get uh, more Angel Woman and more Megas, so. Honestly, again, just just hit him. Like, I still need Nightmare Soldier kills on... Wow, you didn't kill anything. That's astounding. I still need Nightmare Soldier kills on... Um, on Talmon, but now that they've all survived, I'm kind of like, all right, well now try and get some Nightmare Soldier kills on Talmon. Just slowly, but oh great, now I'm panicked. I think if I get hit, I get knocked out of panic. Please hit Talmon again. That's not Talmon. The Karamon lived on like one. You kidding me? Really let me down here, Mirage Galgamon. Getting crit for four damage? Like you're throwing so hard. Ah, there we go. No longer panic. Thank you. Talmon does not appear to have hands, in case no one noticed. Like, if you look into Talmon's sleeve, you just see the void. Between the first part of Naruto and the second part, which did you like better? First of all, it's all one continuous story. They just decided to break the anime into two parts for some reason and make it two different anime. But it's all one story. There, is, there isn't really any 
part or no part. There's like pre-time skip and post-time skip, which I guess you could call different parts, but it's all the same story. But uh, I, I prefer the second part, obviously. All of my favorite stuff happens in the second part. All of Naruto is great, except for the Kaguya stuff. Kaguya was great. But everything else about Naruto, pretty much. And Sakura. Anything with Sakura sucked. But other than that, I love pretty much all of Naruto. Pre or post time skip. There's a reason it's my favorite anime. I guess that's enough. Who needs hands when you have sleeves? You know what? I never thought about it like that. <laughs>